Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to use the CSS clip property in order to crop an image only showing a specific portion of it. Okay, so I've got a web page already set up, and um, it doesn't have much in the body. I'm simply displaying an image and a link to where I got this image. It's a, it's a public domain image off of uh, Flickr Creative Commons search. Okay, so, but what I want to do is I only want to show the uh, the woman's face in this particular photo. So I'm going to go ahead and do a couple things in my internal styles in order to kind of just focus in on this image. So I'm going to create a rule for the image itself. And let's see, I'm going to go ahead and um, position it absolute. In order to use the, the clip, you do need to be on a positioned object. So I'm going to position this image absolutely, and I'll position it 50% from the left and 50% um, from the top. Take care of that. Now, by the way, when I do something like this, it will position based on the top left corner of the image, which I don't really want. So I'm going to go ahead and take another declaration here. Transform, translate negative 50 percent, negative 50 percent. So basically I'm shifting this image to the left 50 percent and upward 50 percent. That's 50 percent of the image dimensions. So now the image is actually more centered. So now I can actually start to use the clip property. Oh, and since I am positioning absolute, I could have and probably should do something like position relative for the parent container. It's not going to have any impact here since my body, my parent container, was already sized similar to the display window or the viewport. Okay, so now for the image, here's where it's really going to get interesting. I'm going to use clip as the property and then rect. And then I have to put in some values in here, which are going to represent the top, right, bottom, and left portions that I want to clip. So this is where it gets a little bit weird. Now I happen to have this image loaded up in a uh, image editor over here. So I'll just bring that onto my screen. And this is just a basic uh, Earth and View image editor. And I only want to show this top portion of the image. Now going from the top is pretty easy. If I wanted to show all of this, then I could just say zero pixels, you know? So, so just as you can imagine, you know, starting all the way at the very top edge. So, and I'm just looking at my numbers right up here. Give me an idea for things. But yeah, so I could basically start at the zero, the zero pixels. That would be pretty easy. The right one is a little bit weird because you're not going from the right, you're going from the left. So this image is approximately 533 pixels wide. So I could say about 533 pixels is where I want to go. So zero from the top, 533 from the left for the right side. And of course the bottom one, how far down have I gone? I've gone about 360 pixels or so. So I could do 0, 530, 360, and then of course the left I could do 0 again. So that's how I'm basically getting the numbers that I'm going to use for this clip. I'll move this off to the side, and now I can start to put in my pixel numbers here. So I can do 0 pixels, of course 0 would be the same, 530 pixels. And then I think I had uh, 360, so 360 pixels, and I could do zero pixels again. And let's see what we get with this. Control S to save, back over to the browser, and refresh. And you now I can only see a portion of that image. So that's basically the clip in question. Now it's interesting to point out too that I haven't actually reduced the size of this image. I've simply hidden the excess part of the image. So my technique for centering before where I did a position and then I did a transform is no longer valid. So if you truly wanted to clip an image or crop an image, um, you might just end up loading that into your image editor of choice and doing the cropping in there and actually saving a new version of the image. But for some quick edits, this is not a bad way to go. And then I could just play around with new positioning and new transforms if necessary, if necessary in order to get this piece of image placed exactly where I want. So thank you very much. And that is the CSS clip property.